We're kicking off something very special this morning. It's called Tell TJ. Mm -hmm. TJ Holmes. TJ Holmes. Look at him. He's all ready. He is traveling the country to find incredible stories of unsung heroes, celebrating the people going above and beyond to help others. And this morning, he's there in Ohio with a man whose life is about to change and the woman who is making it all possible, TJ. Do tell us. R Robin, you said his life is about to change. Well, his life could potentially be saved by what's going to happen this morning. Look, there's no way for me to sugarcoat this. His health is failing. And like so many people in this country, he's on the organ transplant waiting list. Well, he's been on that list for three years. Now I want all of you all to come along with us as we cross one name off that list this morning, and he has no idea it's about to happen. The Senior and Courtney families of Sylvania, Ohio, hit it off from the start and have been friends and neighbors now for more than two decades. When we were moving into the neighborhood, they made us feel very welcome, instantly became friends with them. But the Courtney family was facing a secret battle. Dave Courtney was living with a serious kidney disease and desperately needed a transplant. Dave and Chris, they're very private about it. They're not going to be pity party or poor me or anything. They would never ask for help, never. He was put on a transplant waiting list three years ago. He's uh, definitely worried and, and uh, I think, you know, the uncertainty of not knowing, am I going to get a kidney? Then in April, news from his doctor, Dave's condition had worsened. That's when he said, we need to get you on dialysis. And that's when it's like, oh man really didn't want to go there. He was definitely scared. I could tell by the look in his eyes. Seven days a week, he's on dialysis all night while he sleeps. I have an amazing husband, and I certainly would welcome anyone who would be willing to donate a kidney for him. I mean, there's just not, not any better gift than that. And anytime the phone rings, it could be the call that gives him a new life. Could be a marketer, but you want to take that chance. Dave says the love of his grandchildren keeps him strong and his wife, Christine. We're going to be okay. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure of that. For his longtime friend and neighbor, his positive attitude and zest for life helped her make an easy decision. Maybe Dave was put in my life for that reason. A few weeks ago, Nancy got tested to see if she and Dave were a match and if she could donate a kidney to him. I jumped at the chance to do this, not knowing that it, I was going to be a match. You think about being a match, but you're thinking, how could I be a match? And I am, I, I am a match. I am the donor for Dave, and I am so excited for him to find out and for this to happen and for him to lead a great life. I have never been hesitant at all to do this. He's worth every ounce of it. He's Dave. He's Dave, he's like a big teddy bear. He's Dave. Dave is here with his wife Chris and the whole family have been hanging out here and, and, and treating us this morning to a good breakfast. Uh, the whole country just saw the piece about what you have been going through. Uh, what they don't know is you were a little hesitant to be a part of the broadcast because, you know, this is a very private thing. But you wanted to do it because if it helped get the word out and help one other family keep from having to go through what you all have been going through. That was important to you. Very, very important. Um, <clears throat> unless you really go through this and you're in a need where you need uh, an organ or something of this event and you don't have access to it and you have to rely on others to step up it's it's a it's it's quite a journey it's not just your journey it's been the whole family's right. journey and you never know somebody could see this this morning and say hey I like that guy, Dave. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll step up <laughs> and help him out well that's not going to be what uh, happens because it's not what happened um, because we're here to tell your story but we didn't tell you that in fact several weeks ago someone did step up and they wanted to help you out. And they went and they got tested. And I need the whole family to hear this because I get to tell you this now. That person stepped up and that person is a match and your wait is over, Dave. You're getting a kidney. And I am able to tell you that this morning. Um, 
It has happened. It is done. And it's okay, guys. You can, I told you, you can react. It's okay. But you all can't see the whole family, but every single person at this island has tears in their eyes because it has been a three-year and a very difficult journey. Yes. And the journey has been getting tougher and tougher for you. Um, I know you're wondering, Barlow, who is this person who would, would step up and do this for you? Um, I'm not done. I want you to stay here because the person's at your front door. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. So everybody come along with me. And now I need you to come on in. Um, Dave is here, Dave is waiting, and Dave is in tears. I know, I know you don't want to let her go, but we're, we're limited on TV time, Dave. Uh, <laughs> but the whole country, you didn't hear the piece, but they have met Nancy already, and they know she was doing this. And Nancy, hello, and you tell us again why it was so important that you uh, wanted to do this for your friend here, your buddy here. That's Dave, as you say. <laughs> Dave is fabulous. They're such great friends, great couple, great family. I could never imagine not doing it. I wanted to help. This is the way I can do this for Dave and them. I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, what can you say to her here? I'm speechless. Um, <clears throat> we, we've talked to a lot of people that wanted to know about the process, and a lot of people uh, got a little overwhelmed with the, the steps that they would yeah. have to go through. Yeah. And I think this was probably a godsend because at Chris's mom's funeral yeah. viewing, Nancy yeah. happened to talk to Chris and said, I didn't know he needed a kidney. She's been on a, another list for a long time and didn't get called. And so the conversation just became, what was your blood type? It matched mine. And so the rest is kind well, of history. She's been through it all. And she been is a match. She has, been, she is a match. through it all, dude. <laughs> she is a match. So Robin, uh, George, Strahan, I mean, you all just meeting him. We're seeing him for the first time this morning and past couple days. But this family's been going through this for years and years. And I'm so, I know it's okay to say, but the kidney has been getting worse and it has been failing more and more. This is, this is life changing and life saving. Yeah, it is. incredibly grateful that they're they're sharing the story hey TJ I need to tell you something um, I've been working with this man next to me for I don't it's 10 years or whatever I, I cannot remember the last time I saw beautiful brought yeah. him to tears yeah. brought George Stephanopoulos to tears um, and it's just something you're not all your stories well, George, George tell TJ yesterday. pardon right. pardon TJ yeah, George, George, George got me yesterday. He had me in tears on set, so I wanted to get him back today. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but please tell Dave and Nancy and the entire family, thank you for making their mess, their message, and getting the message out about the, just the, the joy it is to be able to save someone's life as Nancy is doing for her dear neighbor and friend, Dave. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, a lot of tears in, in this room right now and a lot gonna, of chills as well. Are all his stories tell TJ stories? <laughs> oh, I mean, what, happy what? Tears. <laughs> it's no, a good thing. Are tears of joy. But that was an inspiring story. And if you know of an unsung hero who deserves the spotlight, go to our website to tell TJ. We can never, ever get enough of that. <laughs>